Hey everyone, Proto here, bringing you a quick tip for those pilots struggling with Generation 8, or those who are planning to overcome Generation 8 at some point. Hunting wins is not only long, but it is also challenging for those of you who are constantly paired with players who either do not play the specific objective correctly, or just flat out suck. No offense. The game mode that finishes the quickest is Capture the Flag, if played correctly. Both rounds are 7 minutes each, and the tie ins drop within 4 minutes, not including time bonuses. The first round will end if you capture 3 flags, starting the second round up quickly. So if round 1's end within 3 minutes, the game will last for a maximum of 10 minutes, not including the epilogue. Capturing 6 flag ends the game right away. So last night within 3 hours, me and my friend were able to get about 15 to 20 wins. Just me and my friend, within 3 hours. We didn't need a party of 6 to earn the wins, and us to dedicate ourselves to playing the objective and quickly rack up the wins. The reason being is that we were able to get 3 captures in 3 minutes almost every game, and if we were lucky we were able to get it in both rounds. Seeing as I was already level 50, I racked up 3 Titan Burn cards, Titan, Ogre, and an Atlas. On top of those 3, I've been saving up a lot of other Titan Burn cards. To give myself even more Titan Burn cards, I was currently working on another Generation 8 challenge called Look Up Below. The challenge is where you have to drop a Titan onto an enemy. It doesn't matter if it's a minion or a pilot, as long as you drop it onto a living enemy. Auto Titans don't count, unfortunately. Tier 3 gives you an Atlas Titan Burn card. Tier 4 gives you an Atlas and a Strider. Tier 5 gives you all both of those um, alongside an Ogre Burn card. So, with all these Titan Burn cards, I was able to have Call Titan right away almost every single game, every single round. My friend would hop on my back and I would race towards the flag. He would jump off, grab it, hop back on and I would race back to our flag. The round would generally end before an enemy could get a Titan, making it easier for us. Worst case scenario, an enemy would have a Titan Burn card as well on their side. So, my friend would equip an Archer Heavy Rocket so he can deal damage while I'm shooting at the enemy Titan. If the enemy Titan had an arc cannon, I would tell him to jump off so he doesn't take the extra damage from the chain lightning. So, if you don't have any burn cards, the pull rank and decisive action burn cards are a decent substitute. If you have trouble convincing someone to help you, remind them that they will not only be getting all these wins, but they'll be getting MVPs since they'll be the ones getting all the captures. If it's a generation 9 pilot, convincing them won't take much, seeing as they already need the MVPs. If you do go down the road less traveled, by that I mean getting your Titan the old fashioned way, I suggest running a Strider Titan with Dash, Quick Charger, and Core Extender. Not only will you be dashing around almost constantly normally, but when you do get your Dash Core, you will be actually dashing constantly. If you aren't too good at getting your Titan quickly, I recommend the Ogre Titan for survivability. The Atlas doesn't seem to have a place in CTF in my eyes, however if you have the Burn card, use it. Better an Atlas Titan than no Titan at all. One more thing, use them up to your advantage. If the map is too heavily condensed, try using the walls instead. Sure, it would be easier to kill, but if you play your cards right, not only will you survive, but you will be getting your captures faster than if you were to use a Titan. So, to close this off, I want to give you guys I want to give you guys a little tip. Obviously, if you have a full party, it's going to be much easier than two players. However, seeing as the most reliable way to get these wins, if you don't have access to a full party, I suggest going in with what you have. Attrition is also another way to get wins quickly. However, with the new matchmaking, you may find yourself getting a fair share amount of losses as well. Anyway, I hope this video has helped and if, it, if I would I would appreciate a like and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button for more quick tips and be sure to check out my Flight Academy videos. I want to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys later.